Hey guys, welcome back to the Judo Way of Life. I'm David uh, and this is Rob. Today I'm going to go through a version of the Ogoshi uh, I to do. It's more, it's more related to the, the feet position. So I'm still gripping around the back, still on the sleeve. From here, I'm looking to big step. Really big exaggerated step, so I really want to draw Rob on to the throw, here. And what I'm looking to do is fire those hips across uh, and catch Rob as he's stepping forward. Most of his weight's gonna be on that leg. It's going to make it very difficult for Rob to defend. And then here, I'm able to get the hips across and finish the throw. Off. The main reasons why I like this particular style of Ogoshi, where I'm drawing my partner on, getting that big step, uh, I find if I time it badly and I'm stepping into my partner, it's very easy for, um, I th or easier I think, to get countered, uh, especially with someone who's good at defending with the hips uh, and likes to, you know, do the urinards, the pickups. If I'm, if I'm stepping in towards my partner and I miss time it. You can see Rob's dropped his hip in straight away here to defend. Uh, best case scenario, we end up like here, it's a block in the throw. Worst case scenario, I come in. I get blocked and then I'm countered. I find when I'm attacking here, it's much harder for Rob to counter uh, because I'm removing the, the main blocking hip to stop the throw because Rob's weight's on this leg, the weight's off the hip. So as I'm stepping in, it's hard for Rob to bring this hip in to defend. And then... And there's one more thing. He doesn't tell you everything. If you watch what he's doing with, him, with this arm, when, when that counter comes in, when he goes, when his arm really low on this side, I can fold it. And if I can fold it, I can get a good grip. But when Dave pulls and he drives that arm. My arm, and he uses that arm, so I can't, I don't, I don't get that low grip because his arm's propped up, you know, when you throw it. When you throw it, but you have me like a, yep. like a sideways. And, and when he does that, I can't get that, I can't get a defensive grip. Versus if he comes in sloppy, and even if everything else is good, if I can drop that arm, and from here it's okay, but when Dave does it, and he's got that arm propped up, I can't do it. Then from here, it's, my hand's too high, it's bent me in the wrong way. So with, with that, I've one more thing I'm doing with the arm as well as bringing it up. I'm also turning my wrist into Rob's back here. So very subtly, I'm turning, driving my thumb into Rob's back. And that also helps as I step here. And it helps with that rotation. So I'm rotating Rob right around and then I've got to be very fast with my hips if I don't get my hips across here and it comes here he's just going to slide off and I'm, it's very unlikely that I'll even get the Yukigoshi on here just because of the nature and the direction that I'm turning here I need to make sure I get my hips right through and then I'm controlling on the back as well as, as Rob uh, pointed out keeping this position up um, sometimes Ogoshi can be associated with maybe the smaller athlete doing it on the bigger athlete because they can get under the center of gravity. I feel quite comfortable doing this on people that are shorter than me, mainly because I get that nice, strong, exaggerated pull forward 
Um, I say pull, I'm drawing Rob on because of the extent of the, the first step. I, I exaggerate the step. It gives me plenty of time actually to get my hips across, uh, but I still have to be fast. Otherwise, say uh, Rob's just going to slip round uh, and just going to jump off the frog. So give that a go in your randori. Next time you're training, think about a big, exaggerated draw on. Get your hips roll all the way through and uh, smash the partner over. See you again next time.